Uh, test one, two. Hello. Greetings. Should I be looking like directly at the camera? My name's Rob Hughes, uh, aka Hocho. I play bass for the celebration. Uh, hi, my name is Matt Olson, and I play drums in the celebration. My name is Evan Nestor, and I play guitar and do backup vocals for the celebration. My name is Ed Oletta. Um, I guess I'm tour dad, mom, cousin, brother, uncle. I'm Frank Iero. This is the first time I met any of these fools. I made it, I'm gonna say 2005, 2006. Um, I was working in Photoshop and I was just, I was I was doing uh, a couple of art pieces that were based on like, on tarot cards and stuff like that. And I've always designed merch for the bands that I've been in, you know, so I'm always constantly fiddling with, with things here and there and just trying to make things uh, visually uh, interesting. I was making these art pieces and I wanted to, to create uh, an icon or a signature that didn't just include my name. And so uh, I wanted it to represent the, the pool of good and evil, you know, almost like a, a yin and yang, but I didn't want to go with yin and yang, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, so I started to, uh, to look into, and I was basing things in, in, in religion and, and, uh, and spirituality at that point, and I started to, to take the Byzantine cross and, and, and manipulate it, you know? And what you, you have is, um, so, what you have is, is the cross here. And then what I did at the um, bottom, these are, these are two uh, opposing cobras uh, that kind of turn it into this, this anchor shape. And um, <clears throat> the funny thing too is that if you turn it on its side, it uh, kind of says evil with a line through it. So, to, um, so no, it's not a sigil, but it's uh, kind of representative of that, that good and evil, light and dark. In no way, shape, or form did I want to do like a solo thing and call it my name. Like it just didn't. If I had a great name, like like a you know Lou Reed or uh, Tim Gunn, <laughs> like the, the, like those are like whoa, that's that's a name. You know what I mean? Like Frank Iero. I mean, I I grew up with it, so I like it. But it's so hard to. No one can pronounce it. No one can spell it right. There's too many goddamn vowels in it <laughs> to to be an actual standalone name. So uh, so I was like, oh, this is just not gonna work. So what I ended up doing was making it even harder and spelling it wrong. I thought if I could name the band something uh, that encompassed this like outgoing um, party, you know, then maybe people would kind of forget that I wasn't that quintessential front. Man. And so I was like, yeah. I looked up a couple of words and came up with some names and celebration just worked perfectly. You know? If I could bring the celebration, then I wouldn't have to do anything. Uh, it's one of those things where, you know, going on a, a tour like this that, you know, people that you've toured with way, way back and then kind of doing this again like a new project, kind of like a new beginning, could either go one of two ways. It could be super weird and awkward or it could just be like, oh, you know, like pick up where you left off kind of thing. And fortunately, it feels like we picked up where we left off kind of um, showed up and like there's so many familiar faces on, on tour with us, like, you know, band of course, but also crew, you know, some people that... I genuinely like missed, you know, I haven't seen them in so long and um, it's just been a great uh, family environment. Yeah, man, things were, things were pretty intense uh, at, the, at this point, you know, I think we were, we were touring a lot. You didn't expect all of that with a, you know, an indie record, just like a local band, you know what I mean? Like Thursday was getting attention, like Midtown got attention, saves the day, like, you know, but you know, they were on their second and third records, you know, and they were on like bigger indies and and they were touring a lot and you know it wasn't like just your friends like you, you you knew them as friends but it wasn't like I don't know just the normal guys that hung around a diner or whatever you know like they've been doing it for a long time they got a lot of attention and for that to happen to us was like well this is kind of nuts somehow like labels were calling got that number and started calling the practice studio like before any of the major tours. So it was it was a real just ridiculous time for us. You know, we started to come up around, you know, after TBS and and uh, and Thursday and and Midtown and Saves the Day. But I almost feel like like we were reaching that level, you know, and and that was a dream come true because the, these are bands that we were looking up to. You know, we we became friends with the U's through Brian Schechter, um, our manager, uh, who was I don't think he was our manager at this point. He might have just signed on, 
we met him through the used. And uh, he was tour managing them and became on that. I remember going on these used tours and it was like, like shit was blowing up, you know. And and they were like all over TV and stuff and it was, it was kind of nuts, you know. They were like, they were really nice to us. You know, they were really down to earth and kind of took us under the wing a bit and were like, any opportunities that they got, they were like, hey, you want to play these shows? And that was the beginning of all the, the insanity. Hey everybody, I'm Frank Iero from Frank Iero and the Celebration. This is our new record, Stomach Aches, uh, out now. I'm here hanging out at uh, the uh, AP back room with no air conditioning, talking to my friend Cassie. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, you can catch us on tour right now with uh, Take Mac Sunday and Use until October 8th.